This is part 48 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a simple animated progress bar using jQuery animate method. Here is what we want to achieve. When we select a percentage from this drop down list and when we click the start animation button, notice that the progress bar slowly fills till 90% and the value is also displayed on the progress bar. Now when we select 20, notice that the progress bar slowly retreats to 20%. Let's see how to create this animated progress bar using jQuery animate method. So within our body section, we need that text select percentage. And then we need a drop down list to select the percentage for the end user. So let's include a select element. Let's give it an ID. Let's call this DDL percentage. And here we need options for values from 10 to 100. So option value 10 and we want to display 10. Similarly, we need options for values from 20 to 100. In the interest of time, I have already typed the required HTML. So let's copy and paste it here. So that should give us the drop down list. Next, we need a button element. So input type equals button. Let's give it an ID. Let's call this my button. And the value on the button is going to be start animation. And then we're going to have two HTML break elements. And then we're going to have two div elements. Notice here we actually have two div elements. The outer div has got a light gray color and the inner div has got red, uh, you know, background color. So I'm going to create two nested div elements here. So dev, this is going to be our outer dev. So I'm going to give it an ID of outer dev. And I'm going to set the style attribute. So basically, we want the background color to be light gray. So to get that, I'm going to use this color code hash E. I'm going to use E six times. So that should give me light gray color. And the height of this one is going to be 20 pixels and the width is going to be 500 pixels and let's also include a padding of 5 pixels okay so that's our outer dev and I'm going to have another dev so this is our inner dev and the ID of this one is going to be inner dev and again for this one I'm going to set the style attribute and for this background color is going to be red and the height of this one is going to be 19 pixels and width is going to be 0 pixels initially and we want the font color itself to be white and Notice, you know, we are displaying the percentage in the center of this inner div. So let's use text align attribute. So text align center. So that is our inner div element. So we have two divs nested within each other. So let's save the changes. And when we reload this HTML page one, we should get the UI that is similar to this one. Now, when we select a percentage, and when we click start animation, we have to slowly fill that progress bar. So what we are going to do is increase the width of the inner development. OK, so with our jQuery ready function, I'm going to create a function. Let's call this animate progress bar. OK, and to this function, we are going to pass percentage completed. Now. I'm going to find the development by ID. So the ID of the development, I mean the inner development is inner div. So let's find the inner development. And on that, we are going to call animate function. And what do we want to do? We want to increase the width of the inner development. Okay, so increase the width. So we want to increase the width of the inner development to whatever percentage that we pass into this function, right? So for example, if we pass 90%, then we want to increase the width of this inner development 
to 90% of 500 pixels. So the width of the outer development is 500 pixels. So we want to increase the width of the inner development to 90% of 500 pixels. So to get that, I'm actually going to multiply 500 with the percentage completed parameter and then divide that by 100. So that is going to give us the percentage, right? So that's what is the width of the inner div is going to be. And then we want that increase to happen over a duration of, let's say, 3000 milliseconds. So we are going to call this function when we click the button, right? Because that's when we want the animation to happen. And the button element also has got an ID. So let's find the button by ID. My button is the ID. And when we click that button, we want to call a function. So when we click the button, we want to call this animate progress bar function. And we don't want to hard code the percentage values. Instead, we have a drop down list which is going to display these percentage values. So we want to you know, select the value from the drop down list. And the drop down list has got an ID, DDL percentage. So animate progress bar and Let's find the drop down list by ID and then get the value that the user has selected using val function. All right, so let's save the changes. Let's reload this HTML page one and look at this. When we select 90% and when we click start animation, notice that it slowly fills 90%. Okay, and at the moment we only have the progress bar, we don't have the percentage value. So now let's see how to include that percentage value on that inner development. So to include the percentage value within our animate progress bar function, I'm actually going to create a JSON object. And this JSON object is going to have one property counter, and I'm going to initialize that to one. Okay. And on this, I'm going to call animate function. And what we want to do is increase the counter value from one to whatever percentage we are passing to this function. So if we pass you know, 90 to this parameter, then we want to count this counter value from one till 90 and then display that value within the inner development. Okay? So we want to increase the counter value from one till 90. But we don't want to hard code the value like that. Instead, I'm going to use the same parameter. OK, so animate method, we are passing the JSON object. It's going to count from 1 to whatever percentage completed a value that we pass into this function. OK, and that's going to be the count is going to be animated. So now I'm going to use another JSON object. So we can pass the options that we want to this animate method. So I'm using the second JSON object to specify the duration. So duration is going to be 3000 milliseconds. So this should match this value here because both of them should happen at the same time. Okay. So duration should be 3000 milliseconds. And I'm also going to specify another option step. And I'm going to specify an anonymous function here. So what we want to do here is find the inner development. So that's the ID of the inner development. And I'm going to set the text of the inner dev. And I'm going to set the text to the value of this property, you know, counter. And to that, I'm going to append percentage. Okay, so what is the step option here? Now, look at this. When we call this animate function, for example, when we pass, let's say, 10 as the value for this parameter, so this counter value is going to be increased from 1 till 10. So it first increases from 1 to 2. So that's one step of the animation. At that point, you know, this function will be called. So for every step of the animation, 
this function will be called. And what are we doing in this function? We are finding the inner div element and setting its text to the value of the counter. So when it increases from 1 to 2, that value will be displayed within the inner div element. Similarly, when we increase it from 2 to 3, you know, that value is going to be displayed. So for every step of the animation, this function will be called and we are displaying that value within the inner div element. So let's look at this in action now. Uh, so let's save the changes. Let's reload this page. And look at this. When we select 70, for example, and when we click Start Animation, notice that we get the value you know, from 1 till 69 point whatever. Now, we don't want those decimal numbers. So let's round it uh, you know, to 70. And to do that, I'm going to use this math.seal function. So math.seal. So this is going to round the value to the nearest integer. So instead of decimals, we are going to get integers now. So let's save the changes, reload this page, and look at this. When I select 90, so it counts till 90. And when we select, for example, 30, it slowly retreats to 30. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.